Forget what you think you know about space tech. The 2025 edition of the Space Com Expo delivered the unexpected. Take a look. Have you ever wondered how astronauts keep themselves fit and healthy in space? The Spacecom Expo held in London might have some answers. Look at this. This is an exercise machine exclusively designed for astronauts, called the Hi-Fi system, short for High Frequency Impulse for Microgravity. The machine has been developed by a British company called Physical Mind London. The company claims the exercise machine could allow users to train and perform over 100 exercises while on long duration space missions, helping them maintain bone and muscle mass. It is the next generation of astronaut and para-astronaut exercise countermeasures, basically exercise equipment for astronauts in space on long duration missions. Why this is so good is because we can jump using this equipment. Jumping is fundamental for building bone and muscle. Now astronauts lose bone and muscle mass ever so quickly when they're in space. This piece of equipment is proven through bed rest study that European Space Agency has carried out that jumping for four to six minutes a day mitigates the deconditioning effects of being in microgravity. Astronauts must exercise rigorously to combat the detrimental effects of microgravity. This includes muscle atrophy and bone density loss. As of now, exercise equipment on the International Space Station includes a treadmill, a cycling machine, and resistance training devices. However, these types of equipment require a vibration isolation system. That is a large, heavy mechanism that prevents movements from shaking the entire spacecraft. Without it, an astronaut's footsteps or training movements could create unwanted vibrations which might interfere with sensitive scientific experiments or even structural integrity. This piece of equipment does not require a vibration isolation system. So put that in context. The treadmill on board the space station, you see astronauts running on it. Underneath that treadmill is 900 kilograms of vibration isolation system. So the size of a small car or the weight of it. This piece of equipment does not require a vibration isolation system. It's unique. It isolates its own uh, functional forces and prevents them from being transmitted to the spacecraft. Moreover, this exercise machine is self-powered. In other words, the machine converts physical activity into electricity, allowing it to power itself and potentially contribute to the spacecraft's power grid. Meanwhile, another innovation at the Expo managed to grab quite a few eyeballs. We are talking about the American engineering company, Amentum's robotic arm. The robotic arm uses ultrasound technology to inspect spacecraft components autonomously. By emitting sound waves and measuring how they bounce back, the system can identify defects like cracks or inconsistencies beneath the surface of spacecraft components. On the end, we have an ultrasound probe, and the robot's just sweeping across this component to check for any internal structural defects. Maybe it's a crack, maybe it's a hole, maybe it's a structural fault that we need to identify to assure the best quality for components ahead of flight. Automated systems like this could be critical for future space missions, where human labor is limited. The Expo also featured a range of companies showcasing innovations in satellite technology, propulsion systems, and space exploration.